Okay, so now we have our actual naive Bayes model. These lists of probabilities here for uh, other tokens probability. And by the way, in the last video, I forgot to rename this tab. I think it was just called like sheet five or sheet seven or something like that. I just renamed it between the videos. So that's other tokens probability. And then app tokens probability. These lists of numbers consist of the model and we didn't have to uh, we didn't have to minimize or maximize some number to create this model. There was no solving step, really. We just calculated these probabilities and, and we're done. So what if we want to actually use this model? We'd have to convince somebody that the model works. We'd have to convince ourselves. We'd have to convince our boss or whatever uh, or our audience that this model is actually going to work in the real world if we're going to use it to sort through tweets and use this model to tell us uh, which tweets we should pay attention to and which ones we shouldn't worry about. So how do we do that? Uh, we need to find some tweets that this model has never seen before. And on the book publisher's website, if you download these data, you should see a tab or a file called test tweets. So this is a list of 20 tweets that weren't used to build this model and that's an important thing when you're testing it out it needs to be you have training data the training data are the data that the model used that you used to build the model and then the uh, test data are the data that the model never saw before and you use it to validate the model so these are the test data so we're going to tokenize these tweets just like we did before actually we're going to tokenize them in a slightly different way it'll be a little bit easier this time we're going to go over, first off, we'll go over to uh, About Mandrill App, and we will copy and paste these formulas we use to clean up the tweets. So I'm going to just Command-C that, Control-C if you're on your PC, Command-V that over here, Control-V if you're on your PC. And now we have Column-J here, which is our cleaned up tweet. So I'm going to send that down the rows. We have our cleaned up tweets. Now, how do we go about tokenizing those? So to tokenize them, we will first make another tab called test predictions. And in, oops, in test predictions, we're going to paste the number and class of the tweet. So select that, command C, go over to test predictions, paste that and we also want our cleaned up tweets so command C back over to test predictions and I'm gonna leave a little space here for us whoops I need to I forgot about that I need to go to paste special and I want to paste the values there there we go and then I'm gonna make a new column called predictions and we'll use that one later. For these tweets, now we can tokenize them. So we can use a simple tool in Excel, the text to columns feature. So to use the text to columns feature, let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see better. To use the text to columns feature, we just want to select our cleaned up tweets and go to data and then text to columns and we will choose delimited in this window. Click next and uh, tab and space are already selected here. You want to make sure that tab and space are checked and that uh, none of these other ones are checked and also make sure that treat consecutive delimiters as one uh, as checked. And then with the text qualifier here, we can just go to none. Click finish and look at that that was pretty simple wasn't it uh, and that text to columns feature is actually really useful whenever you're prepping data so uh, that might come in handy in your excel open office uh, future or uh, is it LibreOffice or open office i forget the name of it these days uh, in any case um, the next step is to actually start making predictions so how do we do that I will show you how to do that in the next video.